Okay, so this rocker dried overnight. And now I gotta clean that up there and make a patch for that. I did make a patch for this corner. Goes up to there inside, so I didn't video that. But I'm gonna make a patch for this right now and clean this up. I'll get that on video. And then we're gonna work on the the back of the inside here. You can see that. I think I might get lucky and that piece that I cut off right there might do the job. So hopefully it does. We'll see. Okay, so I found some rust in the front corner here. I gotta fix that on the front pillar. And then I got this uh this is cleaned up here, ready for a patch. And then I found this in here. So I made a little patch to go in there. It's just over here. These patches here are for those spots. So I'm going to mix up the glue and then I'll uh, make a video of the patches attached to the car. Okay, so I fixed this front pillar. That's going to dry now. And then... Uh, Back here, I put that one on. We just have to grind those bolts when this hardens. And then I'll probably do a little bit of body work in here, this back corner, but then I'm just going to seam seal this seam. Um, it gets the cover, so it doesn't really matter there. But up here, I'll finish it so it looks good. And then I got right here. So now when this stuff dries in a couple hours, I can pull the clamps off. And then I can work on the inside. But right now I'm going to start working on the other side. Go look at the other side. That's pretty rusty. This is the other side. So it's pretty much the same deal. It's got rust. In the, so the inner, there's more inner here than the other side, but it's still pretty rusty. So it's rusty. I'll see if this front corner is. Yeah, this front corner. The fender doesn't matter on a safety. So this guy's gonna have to buy new fenders. These fenders are pretty bad. But um, I just gotta do this up in this front corner a little bit. Not, I don't think it's quite as bad as the other side. So, uh, we'll see once I clean it up with a grinder. But that's what we got so far. So, I'll get busy cleaning up this side. And, uh, and I'll keep making the videos. Okay, so I got this back corner cleaned up. And I'm going to put in, uh, I'm going to put in this piece right here. So that I have something to screw this piece to when I put this piece in. So this piece will go in first, and then I'll let the glue dry, harden up, and then uh, I'll do the front part of this rail. So I'll get this glued on and then clamped, and I'll do a quick video. Okay, so I got this piece up there clamped on, and then I can do the piece that goes in here. In about two hours, um, I'm gonna work on the other side for a bit, and then I'll uh, I'll do a video when I put that piece in there. Okay, so I got this uh, passenger side all cleaned up now. You can see it's uh, pretty much the same deal as the other side. So I'm gonna have to make a patch here. I made this pattern this out of paper when I did the other side, so I can just do it again right there. And then I got this one that will go right here and curl around. So I just got to cut out some metal that size, cut some metal that size, that size, like that. Um, but I'm going to put the rocker in now. The inner 
is gone on this one too but not as much as the other side and in here there's no rust down in here like the other side so this side's a little bit better but I still have rust all the way up there to the front and there's no on the other side I had rust under the front corner of the fender here but this side's okay up there so I'm just going to cut out the rocker to fit just under these lines again and then I'll glue it on okay so I got the panel trimmed to fit so it's all on there it's nice all the way to the front so now I'm just going to mix up the glue put some glue on the car and I'll glue this panel on okay so this side's glued now it fit nice it's all clamped and um, now I'll work on that inner rocker on the other side it's uh, it's dry so I can start making that patch okay so now this rockers on here we have to grind these bolt heads but I'm gonna make this piece right now these two pieces right here to cover up this rust see there's some holes so I'll get started on that okay so I got these pieces ready to go on the car I'm gonna put glue on them this piece Mix up a little glue. This the tube's empty now. That's all of it. Should be enough. If not, I got another tube. We'll see. I got to open the other tube anyway for the back side of the rocker. Anyway, we'll start with this piece here. Good coat. So that pretty much makes it waterproof now. It shouldn't rust from the inside out with that much glue on it. This is where it's better than welding because that's totally coated and that's that what that glue's waterproof so it won't rust on the inside. Now I'll put it on the car. Okay, I got some more. I put the what I had there on the car under the spot under the spot for this piece. But I'll put a little bit more on this piece. Just to make it really waterproof back there. It'll help it from ever coming back. This glue actually, I really like it actually for uh, doing rust repairs because these repairs actually last better than factory. Sometimes you get a car, it's only 10 years old, it's rusty, more rusty than these things when they come back 10 years later. So this stuff does actually seal the metal from the, from the water.
Okay, that should be lots. There's already some on the car. Mix that up. After I do this piece, I've only got the two inner rockers to finish, and then, uh, then I can do some body work. Get that edge really good, and this edge. It's always good to have a good coating right on the edge. So it kind of squeezes out when you clamp it. Okay, so that's ready. There we go. Put some gloves on. Okay, I'm going to go clamp this on and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so that's what it looks like now. That, uh, that rocker. And this is, uh, this is what it looks like after you grind it all and get ready for body work. On here, I'm probably gonna do. I'm probably gonna do body work up to uh, here, and I'm only gonna do this back corner down to here somewhere, and then this seam. I'm just gonna put seam sealer on this seam all along there, cover these bolts, because this gets covered with a plastic cover, so I'm not gonna finish this whole this whole thing with body work. Normally I would if there was no cover, but there's a cover, so that's what it looks like once it's all prepped for body work and seam sealer. <laughs> 